Let's see this example. Ratio of Srinus and Murli says an year ago was 6 is to 7 respectively. It would be 7 is to 5. It would become 7 is to 8. 4 years hence. 4 years hence means after 4 years. Then Murli's current age is. So they are saying that if, if you assume that this is the timeline and if this is the present. Now one year ago which means minus 1. One year ago. The ratio of Srinus is and Murli is, right? So, or in the ratio of 6 is to 7, which means he, here you can assume that one year back Srinus is 6x and Murli says is 7x because they are in the ratio of 6 to 7, I assumed like that. Now, 4 years hence, which means from here it is 4 years plus 4 years, their ages are in the ratio of 7 is to 8. Now, here if their ages were 6 and 7, 6x and 7x, what would have happened to their ages by the time we reach here? So, the total difference is 5 years. From here to here, 1 year and from here to here, 4 years. Therefore, by the time you reach here, their ages will become 6x plus 5 and 7x plus 5. Now, they are saying that their age ratio is, is 7 is to 8. This one is given as 7 and 8. Got it? Okay. Now, if you try to solve for the value of x, you are going to get 48x plus 40 equal to 49x plus 35. There are various ways of solving it. This is one of the ways. Now, what is that we get? x equal to 5. Right? Now, since we got x, we can know what their ages were one year back. So, one year back, age of Srinu is 30 and age of Murli is 35. Then what is the Murli's present age? Murli's present age means at this point, right? His age will be 36 years, okay? So, this is one way of solving it. Other way of solving it would be, you know, so let us say this is the present. At present, you can assume that Srinu's age is S and Murli's age is M, right? And then they are talking about the age one year back. So, one year back, you can assume that he says, Srinu says is S minus 1 and Murli says is M minus 1. And then they are talking about 4 years later, 4 years hence. Now, you can assume that Srinu says here will be S plus 4 and Morley says will be M plus 4, right? And here it is given that this ratio is 6 by 7. And then it is given that this ratio here is 7 by 8, right? Now, if you solve, the, you are going to get two equations. You get one equation here, another equation here. Now, from these two equations, if you try to solve it, you are going to get the A's of Morley M equal to 36. All right, this is one way of solving it. If you, if you are going to use this method, just be careful. Here, M is nothing but the A's of Morley one year back, which means 7x is nothing but he says one year back. But what is asked is his current age, which means you have to come one year forward. That is why it is 36. Okay, fine. Hi. If you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is out of 1 lakh students who take gate every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5% and IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%, but all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building 
and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join game of visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 555 454. Okay, thank you.